Hello guys, the DB Grind here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round three of YCS London 2023, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to see Ben S on Trap Tricks versus Sean S on Cash Tira. So, um, let's see who, ooh, okay, so Trap Tricks is going first, it's really, really strong for many reasons, but also because, wait, I'm so confused. What is that? <laughs> I'm confused. Um, on what that was. That didn't look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. They're gonna make Sarah activate Shade, and then they're gonna get Sarah effect go summon. Yeah, like go go through the deck. Okay. Didn't get to go through enough of it, unfortunate. Wait. They definitely just have something in their deck. Okay, so they're summoning... I don't even know what that is. I can't tell. Oh. Oh. Someone out of Vescalo? Okay. And then... They're gonna overlay... Summon out Ping... Effect, attach, go search. And they're gonna search out Mermillo, Sarah effect. Go set. Like, obviously they just have a non-Yu-Gi-Oh card in their deck right now. I've seen it like six times. It's just crazy that like, they know that they messed up, but they don't want to like say anything because then you're gonna get in trouble for it. Holtia, discard Holtia, special summon. Uh, thankfully they didn't get hit with, uh, with Nib or anything. And then, they're gonna go ahead and pass. Okay, so, not the best end board I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a lot better. Uh, like a Reflasia would be very strong. But we do have Redoer with a trap under it. We have Holtia with Pudica. So they're gonna activate Imperm, target Redoer. That's tough. Probably, yeah, I was gonna say, you probably just tag out. So they're gonna go ahead, tag itself out. And then they can get Sarah effect, since the trap was activated. Okay, decides to not do it. And then summon out a unicorn. They're thinking here if they want to Pudica that. Yeah, they're going to hold to you. Summon. And then effect, banish. And they get to bring it back during uh, the Trap Tricks player standby phase. Oh, wait. But they can just attach it. That's true. Yeah. So attach that. Which is good for them. And then they're going to set whole Tia from deck. Okay. Then summon Fenrir. Fenrir effect, go search. I can grab like Rise Heart if that's all they have. Okay, it grabs Unicorn, so they have Birth. Can't believe I'm actually watching Cash Tira play through a Trap Tricks end board. I think this may be like the second time I've ever seen it. It's just not supposed to happen. Because usually you could just like have multiple interruptions on top of like a Floodgate Trap hole. And, like, Floodgate Trap Hole already does so much. Activate Birth. And then Normal Summon Out Unicorn. Unicorn Effect. Go Search. So now that can go ahead and grab out Theosis. That's pretty good. Okay. And then Activate Theosis. Could go battle. Um, they do have Trap Trick Garden, which is going to help protect the board. 
Let's activate the Osis, target Unicorn, go summon. Yeah, bring out Scarecrow, Cash Tira. All right. And then looks like they're entering battle now. Okay, so they also have Fenrir that can just banish the field spell, and they can beat over everything. Okay, yeah. So that looks like that's what's gonna happen. Then attack with Unicorn, effect to rip the extra deck. They're getting to see what's in there. They're going to rip the Exceton Knight. Now trying to get hit with that card. Sarah goes to Grave. And then Scareclaw, Catch Tira, beat over the XYZ. Yeah, attack over. I like how it attacks in defense like that. They did like kind of pick it up and move it. Okay, they do have Nib in hand though, so if they decide to go for like a Rise Heart, they will get hit with it. Because they started with Summon Unicorn. Yeah, so it looks like they are going to go for it. Really looks like they want to. Yeah, okay. Overlay all those, Summon out a Rise Heart. Which, at worst, even if they do get hit with Nib, I mean, they get the trade with the back row, at least. We know it's Holtia. Activate Pot of Prosperity, go Banish. Nah, they're gonna go, like, a Rise Heart Effect. They haven't used Birth the Special out. Right? Yeah, they haven't used Birth the Special out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Prosperity looks at the top cards. A little bit awkward. Um, they might just, like, really play in the nib. Because, like, you know, a lot of people aren't respecting that card right now. So, they could grab, like, Rise Heart. They have Birth Summon. Okay, they're just going to grab Imperm. Which isn't even, like, good against Trap Tricks. A Rise Heart effect to attach. Wait, there's no way we're letting this go through, and there's no way you're attaching Goliath. Aren't you supposed to attach a Redoer there? Yeah, you definitely attach a Redoer there, because now they're just getting it back. End of main, activate Nib, which is why Nib was probably supposed to be used in response to a Rise Heart effect to attach, so that way they don't take a Redoer. Summon that out. Yep, bring out the token. Um... Okay, yeah, Birth Effect to Summon. And then that brings out Fenrir, which is just going to make it harder to lose next turn. Pass, End Phase, Redoer comes out. And then Draw. Yup. Standby Phase. Uh, we do have whole Teal that can summon back to pop the back row, but we should probably Redoer to attach first. Just to see what that hits. Or maybe you don't even want to do it because you don't want to play in the Fenrir. But you're going to get hit with Fenrir at some point. Unless you're just going to go battle phase attack over it. They are just going to go battle phase attack over it. Okay. Let's see. Then. They know the set is Imperm. Summon out Champa. Turn that into Sarah. And then activate whole Tia. So we don't have to discard since it wasn't set this turn. We have Ash and Nib in hand right now. So they're going to chain Imperm onto Redoer. It's going to shut the whole Tia down. And then Sarah effect. You can't Imperm Sarah because it's unaffected by traps. So they're going to bring out Mermillo. Mermillo, Pop, Birth. And then Sarah effect to go set. So now we're getting trap interruptions. So we're going to set Floodgate Trap Hole. Yeah, it's kind of just like... There, there, there's no winning at this point for the cash player. Now that they're starting to like set trap cards. Okay, Link Off the Sarah Marmillo. And then Summon Out. Um, forget the card's name exactly. It's like Claire or something. Oh, they bring it up. Okay, Plura, and then they're just going to go end phase, summon out Pudica, 
Effect, banish token, pass. All right, standby phase, redoer. I kind of lied. I thought they were going to be able to do more, but this is like okay that we have this. Redoer to attach, attach Ash Blossom. I don't, the cash player doesn't have a lot of cards in hand, right? It's like maybe two. Pretty sure it's two. Special Summon Fenrir, activate Floodgate on that, and then they just scoop. Okay. I guess it's worth seeing, does this go through or not? But okay, so we we see the Trap Tricks player win game one. Now I can go ahead and skip ahead since this isn't live. And we're going to see the next game. Okay. So they're going to go normal sun. There's no way, okay, the Cash player definitely just bricked and passed, right? Yeah, they did, because they have six cards in hand. So the cash player full bricked and just said pass turn. So now we're going to see normal summon Mantis, grab Mermillo. So now, that's so tough. I would just play safe. Yeah, Moonlit the Sarah on summon. It's just a negate for the turn. Uh, Moonlit... Valor, Gamma, all those cards on Sarah, so nice. Imprim doesn't work because it's unaffected by trap cards. Um, they have the field spell plus Mermillo. So activate. And then normal summon, grab trap card, and the opponent didn't do anything turn one. So being able to get to a trap card seems good. Oh, normal summon, Dianea, effect summon back Mantis. Um, Sarah effect, it's negated for Moonlit. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. They just forgot about it. So, they're probably getting a warning for, like, trying to resolve it while it was negated. Which is fine. It's whatever. Um, it's not a bad warning. It's not like you're gonna get a game loss. Then battle phase, attack, attack. So dropping them down to 55. And then overlay those. Okay, go into the Rafflesia. Rafflesia is pretty good. I'm pretty sure I saw Harpy's Feather Duster in the opponent's hand. Which we don't have Champa to beat here, so it is going to get some very good value. But having the Rafflesia past that is very good. So it starts off with Harpies. And then, pretty sure there was a whole Tia in the hand. I don't remember what else. Okay, so they're going to activate the whole Tia. So summon out, and then Harpies resolves. Isn't it still considered a trap card? Maybe it says it's like not considered a trap card or something. There's no, they literally just have an anime card in their deck. Like, there's just no way. And then Sarah. Yeah, they literally have a non Yu Gi Oh card just in their deck. That is crazy. Surprised the judges, like, just didn't find that. Sarah bring out Mermilla. Mermilla effect. Sarah goes sub. Uh, and then special summon out Fenrir. Activate Rafflesia effect. Go down Floodgate. Just set that right away. Yeah. I mean, that's that's nice. Put them on better have a lot more. And they definitely don't by the way that they played turn one. Someone said Holtia is not a trap card while it's in the monster zone. It summons itself as a normal monster. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, fair enough. If it doesn't say, like, it's, like, considered not a trap anymore, then sure. I, I actually just don't know. I don't even side Harpies in against trap tricks a lot of the time. Just because they always have the what's it called turn one to be able to stop it. And then, like, you just don't really get value out of it. So they're going to go Pudica effect, Banish Fenrir, Ping effect, 
Oh, that's not even ping. That's on Lamaros. Okay. So then they're gonna get Sarah to set floodgate. Okay, and then bring out the Fenrir off the Aldemaros. Then it looks like they're just running math real quick. Yeah, it's just game. Someone said one thousand dollar deck losing the three structure decks. Cash tier is not even a thousand dollars. That's the thing. Cash tier is actually only like a three hundred dollar engine. I'm pretty sure now it was worth like a thousand. But okay, we do see Trap Tricks win there. Uh, that was a really, really fast match. That was 16 minutes long for a Trap Tricks match. Um, the Cash Tier player really just got absolutely pub stomped there. But that's going to be it for round three. I'll be back at it again with round four shortly. And also, YCS LA starts in about one hour. So I'll also start having the rounds for that coming up too. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.